Hey guys, how's it going? Licky Giraffe here with some more Total War Attila for you. So, uh, quick, uh, quick thing before we start. So, I've been having some uh, Windows problems uh, of late, and I had to do some, uh, some kind of repairing and such. And long story short, I uh, I lost uh, I lost a couple of the videos I was making. I also lost some save games. Uh, so luckily, because uh, I'm currently streaming Alien Isolation as well. That's fine, I have my progress from that, but I lost my save from the, my Western Roman Empire, so I had to start a new one. And then I also lost some of the, the progress I'd made in that, which is why uh, you now find me at 397 AD. Uh, it is turn... what turn is it? Turn 10. It's turn 10. So uh, we've kind of <laughs> jumped into a, a new campaign here, uh, kind of the start of a new campaign with the Western Roman Empire. Uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully this is okay. I'm gonna continue on uh, the, the playlist, I guess, on YouTube, just because it's 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 easier, and I might as well leave leave the, the leave the other ones up. But hopefully, uh, for anyone kind of starting now, wondering where the first ten turns went, that's why they are they are lost to the ages, unfortunately. But uh, I'll give you a kind of a quick overview of where I am with this one. So what I initially did straight away is kind of what I learned from my previous game, is I got rid of all the churches everywhere. Because uh, I didn't realize at first, but churches uh, cost money to run. They cost like something ridiculous, so like 800 gold a turn or something. So I got rid of all of those, and that really helped my income an awful lot. As you can see, it's 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 not amazing, but it's it's okay. And as well, another thing I've done kind of different to my last campaign is I haven't abandoned provinces uh, quite as easily. Uh, so if we go over to England, uh, I've kind of kind of left England to its fate, to be brutally honest. Um, there's like a lot of different factions over there, and I kind of lost interest keeping that pretty quickly. So I've kind of moved away from that. Um, I've kept, I've kept uh, pretty much all the rest of my provinces. I currently have a picked army here, but it's it's sick and pretty weak. So I'm actually going to go finish that off. Uh, but thus far, uh, no one really has invaded from my northern flank, which is nice. Uh, though I have a sneaking suspicion the Alamans are going to do something really weird. Uh, and as well, I've kind of I've kept on to my eastern uh, territories as well, uh, which I've actually found uh, like I've been able to hold them. Uh, cause what happened in the first couple of stages, whenever an enemy actually beat me, instead of taking the province, they just sacked it, uh, and I just didn't bother repair it. So uh, I thought I thought that was that was pretty good. So that way, uh, I keep the province, they get a little bit of money. Uh, so at the moment, I have four armies. Uh, I have one army over here it's down the south. Um, these guys, the Garamantians, declared war on me and kind of took took a town or two, so I had to bring this go over to deal out some justice. So now, once things have stabilized, you can see it's minus 81, pretty close to rebelling. So that's done. I'm pl planning to uh, go down here and take out the Morians, who are also at war with me. Surprise, surprise. Uh, then I have this guy here, who actually just finished quelling an uprising. And he's now going to be heading north to just destroy this pig's army, just get it out of the way. Then I have my two armies here on the eastern front, uh, who are doing a pretty good job, actually, in fairness, of kind of keeping the barbarian hordes at bay. And uh, let me think, let me think, uh, is there anything else I've done differently? Uh, the churches, well, I guess, would be the main thing. Um, kinda, I'm kind of at a point now where I'm public order is starting to stabilize. And I'm starting to kind of get a bit more money together. Uh, actually, <laughs> currently ha I have Morians here sieging my sieging this town, which for what's been a long time, and I still have what 11, <laughs> 11, uh, 11 turns to go before I start to take any casualties. So I'm, I'm happy to kind of leave that there for a while. And yeah, so cool. So here we are. So let me think. Uh, what I'll start doing. So I'm pretty much. I've kind of done everything I've done for this turn. I've kind of moved my armies. I've fought my battles. And I'm kind of ready now just to end the turn, to be honest, and, uh, and see where it takes me. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Also, we're getting pretty close to 400 AD, which is kind of the first milestone of the campaign as well. That's when Attila is born, I believe. Oh, surprise, surprise. There's the Caledonians declaring war on me. Not Super. To be honest, I didn't really... Uh, not really surprised at that, though. What's kind of happened now is that um, Britain, the uh, the Roman, I guess the Roman rebellion faction, has um, has arisen in uh, in 
southern England, and it's actually doing quite well against all the barbarians. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. They can I can kind of leave them to fight fight amongst themselves. Uh, it kind of keeps them occupied, which I'm totally fine with. As long as they aren't attacking me. Uh, ooh, so I have here a uh, the Geats are attacking me with which is honestly actually a pretty pretty shit force. So I'm actually I'm actually gonna fight this one mainly because I think I can do a good bit of damage to uh to their force. If nothing else, uh, slow down, slow down their conquests. Actually, I'm just gonna check. Okay, yeah, no, I, I am, I am, <laughs> I am definitely recording this one, so that's okay. <sighs> but yeah, no, it was, it was a, it was a right pain. What happened to my my computer? The um, Windows Explorer, uh, would you believe, got uh, got corrupted. I'm just trying to upgrade my NVIDIA driver just through you know, the G GeForce experience that kind of messed everything up. So I had to do a, a Windows repair. Did, did enough to did enough to wipe wipe everything out and reinstall. Just a Windows repair, but it did enough to um to wipe everything. And I, I, I did lose some data through fault of my own, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't Microsoft's fault. So I would uh I'd go easy on those guys. But yeah, almost loaded now. I could, I guess I could do some post editing to get rid of these loading scenes, but to be honest, uh, I think it's more real, you know, leave the, leave the loading scenes in, you know, that way you guys, you, you guys get more of a feel, and also I really don't want to have to do it, <laughs> uh, ooh, shit, actually, I thought this was a, uh, a well, I, th I thought they'd be coming from the sea, and they aren't, they're instead coming from the land, so this changed things up a little, I guess, I probably won't do as well as I had previously thought but you know let's just go with it and see how we do because what is there to lose the answer not a whole bunch so I think I'm probably going to stick these guys here front and center and uh, one thing I do really like about the Western Roman Empire is the, the early units are just really good like can't can't really fault them to be honest. I've been I've been pretty darn pleased. Uh, oh yeah, they have a decent range there, so I'll probably keep them there. So they can they can fire away to their heart's content. So I'll put the barricade up there. So just to <laughs> maybe try to lay these guys getting up here as quickly. Uh, I'll stick these guys. Let's take these guys back here to support these guys who are probably going to be taking the brunt of it, to be honest. And then I'm going to deploy these guys over, yeah, over here to swing around and then hopefully uh, take out some of their ranged, ranged units, or at least do some damage to them. Anyway. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. So, I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably wait for these guys to kind of march forward, then land this guy and. Uh, See what I can do. Well, or should I? Or should I instead just? Uh, hmm. Because hmm. if I land them after those guys, I chase it. These guys are just gonna run away from me. Yeah, it's a tough question. Ah, sure. What the hell? I'll land them. Okay, there's the Archer Tower, get some, get some nice damage. My cavalry up. The enemy draws near! Okay, these guys are on. Let's charge in some spears. Enemy is attacking our general. Okay, so they're under some fire now, so we're gonna bring the cavalry around and drive right into those Nordic bows. If for nothing else, just try and get some damage down on them. And oh well, these guys are not doing very well at all. <laughs> and Frannis didn't really give them much of a chance. Can I get ten kills? 
Not quite, not quite. The flee the field of battle. They'll have held them up a little bit, so display. they've kind of done their job. So what I might do is I might just charge these guys straight in here, because Nordic Band are absolutely dreadful units. I mean, they're really terrible. Uh, it's, it's, it's not even funny just how bad they are. I'm going to charge those guys in. They're going to be firing. Oh, no, they are. Also as well, another thing about the whole, the whole computer thing is I lost all of my recording settings. So I've gonna have to try to do it from memory and I can't I can't quite always I don't think I quite get the, the sound right. Uh, so I've tried my best. Uh, but do do let me know if, if you think it's not great and I'll I'll gonna try try a bit harder to get it right. Uh, trickier than you think. Trickier than you think. I want to go to break these guys just to nothing else literally just to break them <laughs> if they're super annoying I want them away gone out of here wavering come on the barricade the enemy is attacking the barricade Man, there, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's charge these guys over around the side of the Nordic Levy. Nordic Band is just kind of chilling there. Doing its thing. Just get a little weaker, charge them, get them nice and low. If you guys could get there a little quicker, that would be super duper. So my cavalry are so close to breaking, I really don't want them to. My men have given up and are running for their lives! Oh, damn it, there's the horses gone. Sigh! Ah, brilliant. <laughs> charge these guys up there. I'll stop those guys. These guys have charged in over here. So hopefully they'll get some nice damage off before they presumably die because they have archers on either side of them. One or two more great volleys. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that damage. Absolutely destroy them. I don't want to probably end up to kill more guys than uh, save, so I'll just charge in. Some melee damage off there. Oh, the swords are running away. So charge into these guys. Only because they have more men to kill, to be honest. <laughs> That's the only real reason. So I can't really retreat them now. Because or else the archers will just pepper them in the back. So. Next, uh, next thing on the list then is to try to defend against the rest of these guys. So, not quite sure how successful I'm going to be, but you know, it's always more fun to try. So that's what I'm going to do. So move these guys out here to the back. And these guys, I will, what do I do with these guys? Put them here front and center. Put these guys 
back here to charge in as support. Oh, these guys have disbanded again. We're still chasing these guys. <laughs> Could be a while there, but I don't really mind. Like I said, I can't really give up now or they'll just pepper me back and I'll lose a load more guys. Okay, so get these guys ready. There's a studio. Around turn that melee mode and get the fire into that mass of guys there. Still chasing, it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully their units can surround my units and so make it really hard for their archers to get any kills. <laughs> that's the kinda that's the kind of level of defeatism I'm going here. Oh, there we are. There's that unit that's found. So these two towers as well are really putting in putting in the hard yards. They're doing a lot of really good work. All I need now is for those archers to break, which they hopefully will pretty soon. Hopefully. To get a couple more kills on them. Great. These guys are breaking, don't blame them. So these guys, well, these guys need to hold it. These guys, like, if these guys break out, they instantly lost. These guys have joined the battle. Super. Let's watch these guys for a while. It's gonna make me a little bit happier. Yeah. Right of that. So the volley after these guys. There we go. Let's try to stem the tide with these archers. Charge! Chargers! Let's see if they can get some kills. And I'll leave them there because I'm no longer interested. Oh, cool. Caused them to break. So I guess let's march these guys back in. <laughs> see what they can do. These guys. Honestly, lasting a little longer than I expected. They will probably break now in a second or two, but still, you know, they've definitely got some kills. And that's better than no kills, you know. See, so yeah, I've managed to kill over a thousand men. Of his, so that's good. That's pretty much all I wanted to do. Just weaken, weaken his, his party, to be honest. They've all retreated. Let's see if I can if I can run back to this tower over here. At least hide in the forest. Something actually I'm not quite sure is if, if standing in forest for helps protect you from missiles. That is something I honestly don't know. Tiller's AI can be really weird sometimes. Uh, okay, okay. They've seen me, it's fine. Just goes to rest here for a second, get them back to nice and fresh. And if I just wanted that tower to be within range while I was making my kind of last stand. Just because it does do really good damage. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the this dude, though. 
See how long that can last. Off they go. Oh no, the rally is dang. refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Defeat. Pretty much all I could ask for, to be honest. See, 225 losses for over a thousand kills. I think that is pretty fair. Pretty darn fair. It's like, who's the 210 with the sword guys? How am I? Spurs only kill 30 men. That is ridiculous. 158 cavalry. Then the yeah, cavalry died pretty quickly. I must. Uh, I must really try and manage them better. But you know, what you're gonna do? Come on, load faster. I'm just thinking of uh, buying some new PC parts soon. Well, maybe not soon. Maybe towards autumn. Uh, that's oh god, no. Axe, axe in the head. Oh, jeez. Brutal, brutal stuff. So, see, yeah, they, they seem to be very reluctant to actually take settlements. They really just seem to be kind of more concerned about sacking. Don't really mind, personally. Like, I have I have abandoned Britain long ago. I no longer really care what happens to it. Also, those damn Quadians, I, I, uh, I offered a peace treaty, well, they offered a peace, peace treaty with me, and I accepted, I think it was maybe four turns ago. Because I was under quite a lot of pressure from other guys, and I just this didn't need time. them kind of attacking it me. Ah, of now. The storm is coming. A storm, storm of blood to wash to away. Wash you away. Wonderful. The Roxolanians are at war with me. Your allies under attack and calls for your aid. Now I really want to keep my alliance with. Eastern Roman Empire. Because you know, they're kick ass and I need their help and they're very strong. But if I join, if I join against them, then I'm at war with Macedonia there and I'm also at war with the Visigoths there. So honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I think I'm probably willing to break my allegiance at this point because I'll still have a trade agreement and military access. So I think I will. I think I will decline and break the alliance. Oh, and here is Britain coming to attack Londinium, or well, siege it at least. Ah. Uh, Going to again, they should be able to walk right in there. Oh, cool, and they take it. Wonderful. So that's been sacked. Fine. Super. Ah, typhoid. Ah, that's fine. Londinium. Don't care. She bought played spreads. Ah, oh, god darn it. Come on, spying on our troops. He says, Alright, Mendes, go. What should we do with them? Hmm. Old man. Anatolius Papelius Rugax. I'm gonna save my game first. Because that was a long turn. Okay. Right, what can we do? Interrogate him, train others, recruit him. I guess we could recruit him. I don't have any spies yet, and I don't really see myself actively paying the money to get them. Mainly because I really, really can't afford it. <laughs> uh, so actually, it's getting close to 480. Let me just check my objectives real quick. Fodorati Spears. Whoops. That's fine. Buy some of those. Need to be at war with the Visigoths. Uh not care what them near. Have those, have those, have that, and mercenary units, which I really can't afford. <laughs> okay, what's next? Recruitment cost, unlock recruitment of strategy. 
TR fifty levies armature ammunition integrity plus one. Hmm, that one costs money. Not sure how I'd feel about that. What else can I do? Fifty percent from commercial buildings. Minus settlement. Minus five for industrial buildings. Plus five percent from agricultural buildings. Okay. So I go military or civic. I think I'm gonna go this one because cheaper recruitment for melee, which is one of my armies, and as well I get a get a better uh, get a better sword unit as well. So what's not to love? Right. Okay. So more population surpluses. Regional rating, Caledonians declare war on me. Do 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 do, war declared. Settlement lost, it's fine. Demolition has finished. Uh, that, that's great. Wonder I could probably get rid of that as well, actually, get rid of the capital. Do something useful with it. Ah, uh, we'll decide later. And food shortages ended in all those places. Got up a lot of food all of a sudden. Oh, well, I guess it's autumn. Okay, first army. What are we going to do? Can I afford to move this guy away? Buildings, religion, uh, military problems, characters. That's a total of four. seven and five is twelve. So we'll get back to minus one. Uh, I think that's pretty fair. I'm going to turn these guys into force march and absolutely speed them across to take out that Morian settlement because I hate them so much uh, let's see now ok so that's fine, I'll do that there then it's these guys, I will go up and attack, well actually I'll move, in, I'll move into Duro Duro Quatorum and to see what the Picts do, and then depending on what they do, I will probably just hopefully just go destroy them. Uh, this guy, this guy here, his army is kind of responsible for keeping track of kind of all this border here. In fairness, he's done a pretty good job so far. So let me see. I don't think I can declare war on the Quadians just yet without making myself look like a douche. Are you brave or foolish? Yeah, five more turns to it before I can whomp on them. That's fine. This place is getting pretty close to open rebellion, however, so I might move this guy into the middle ground so I can kind of quickly go to wherever to decides to uh, uprise first. So that's fine. And then these guys are actually doing pretty good too. See, what's why are these guys so darn sad? Uh, instability, disease, events. Oh wow, there's a lot making these guys really fudging angry. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll leave those guys for a while. Yeah, the Visigoths. The Visigoths. Full stack. Mm. Not sure I'd be able to defeat them in open combat, to be brutally honest. So I might just leave them. They're not at war with me. I've turned people who are at war with me. I have two full stacks just kind of chilling in my territory, so hopefully they stay pretty cool. Um, in which case, I'm going to spend my money this turn on, uh, well, on, I guess, yeah, kind of improving things. So minus one, that's fine. Don't need to worry about those guys. They're doing okay. Uh, Dalmatia, not doing great again. I'm going to upgrade this to an auditorium. Give them something to be a little bit more cheerful about. Uh, and also actually it gives, it gives cohorts as a garrison, which is always nice. So spin that on those guys. Everywhere else, happy enough. Paranoia, I think I'm just going to let Rebel at this point, to be honest. Because it's just easier. Battalion Inferior, can ignore that. Superior, oh, so... That's pretty much every um, every promise then is kind of in the good, though it does help that uh, uh, well I have a food service and as well I've got this Christian following thing and Christian support which makes that I, I get a kind of a public order bonus across everywhere. 
which is kind of really helping things along. <laughs> so in that case, I'll spend the rest, yeah, building things. Things that'll give me more money, because that's something I really need, is more money. Not so much guard houses. So currently, well... Yeah, not really going there. I really, really need to get the most bang for my buck with regards to these purchases. Get a trade jetty. What's that? 400. That's, that's quite a lot. Uh, in fairness, four turns. So it is a bit of investment for the squalor. I have enough squalor. Public order, I have the uh, public order to do it. So I think I'll get a trade jetty there. That'll give me uh, that'll give me nice money. And then I think I have enough then to build maybe give one unit an extra these guys definitely don't need it these guys are fine I think, I think I'm gonna get an extra unit of these guys because they are hurting uh, oof. Germanic levy, Germanic curlers, they're both kind of crap to be honest I think I'll just get a regular unit, might actually ooh, might get another Sign unit of uh, skirmishes because they're really strong actually when massed like really, really strong. <laughs> so I think that's my turn for now. So let's save and actually, ooh, forgot. let's let's engage in some diplomacy to see if anyone Speak wants to be and well. cool and maybe give me some peace. I'd love some peace right about now. Britain, Britain is Speak a guy interested terms. in being peaceful with, mainly because Welcome, they're going to be quite strong because they have Roman units and they'll be right on my border, but I don't think they're going to they're going to kind of give me anything at the moment, so it's deteriorating be it's welcome a shame and may I kind of need them to be cool with appropriate speed, for I have other business today uh, do, 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 do. Council of Trade, Military Alliance So I might just leave them alone for now. Shoot, why not ask if they have any money? Ah, well, sometimes that works. Sometimes if you ask like people who like you for like say 300, uh, 300 money or whatever it's called, they they will give it to you. <laughs> you know, every little helps when Speak. you're the Western Roman Empire. Franks. You have the ear of my Darn, stupid Franks. Garamantian. My friend, your honor. No one is giving me gifts. Ooh. Speak quickly and well. Nope. My Everyone master is just extends the most me. magnificent welcome to you. The Huns, another group Do not of kind waste of words. want to try My and get cool with. Better. But it really doesn't seem to be wanting that to happen. Speak plainly and without idle purpose. Man, I'm so sorry for hating spent. me. <laughs> Welcome, friend. Let us come. Uh, Lusians. Welcome. Do they want to trade with me? No, they don't. Does Macedonia want to trade with me? Greetings in the name of the state. No, they don't. Just the to the market man. I'm sure trade with you me. have many pleasantries for me. I guess that one. Bishia. Greetings, friend. No gifts from them. Prathia, Picts. Well, the Picts I am sure peace. you have many. They will not. Hopefully, they will actually when I crush their armies. Please don't bother with. And the Do not try my fate. No. Though actually, I kind of hope the Roman Empire might just destroy the Sassanids. That would be nice. Are you pray? Because would free them up to help me some more. I really Welcome. well. I wouldn't say I definitely need help at the moment. I'm actually quite okay. Welcome. All right, nobody wants to do anything with me because everyone despises me. So I'm just gonna end my turn. Ah, okay. They are attacking me. Too bad I have dysentery. Super. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> let's go. You probably want me to auto resolve more of these, but I don't know. I'm just I'm really surprised at how many units I can actually kill before I lose. 
these false skirmishes and like because yeah, I have all resolved them before and like I just I do absolutely nothing and I feel it's better to at least try weaken them as best I can than to just uh, then I kind of just roll over because the longer I can keep them weak you know the longer that gives me to kind of build up so I'm, I'm still I'm still kind of in that hump where if like a bunch of people decided to attack my borders at the same time I would be a little bit screwed uh, so I kind of need to delay it a couple more turns build some more buildings kind of be a get things get things in order again start producing units haven't 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 created an army in this game yet I'm still using them I think I brought together two or three armies like I haven't I haven't created an army uh, at, at all in this in this game so I kind of I kind of need to get to that point. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's see now. Uh, where is good? Where is a good place to chill? Okay. Here. Pretty good. Um, here is quite good as well. And I'll stick these guys over here. Now these guys, I will stick. What's their range like? Not amazing. Not amazing. To be honest, like, so I can take that off and stick it here. That kind of gives them a little more, a little more leeway. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Then again, I could just stay here. I'll just leave them here, to be honest. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Sure, I'll just leave them there. What the hell? What can possibly go wrong? And then I'll leave these guys hidden in this bush here. Okay, I think we're ready to go. These guys get into pseudo mode. Actually, I will bring these guys back a little. There we go. Perfect. Uh, okay. At your service. Dominate! Our enemies beat a march into our capital. Okay, let's see what the enemy do. Enemy reinforcements have arrived! No, filthy reinforcements. To be honest, I did totally forget about them. <laughs> as if, uh, as if it was hard enough to do this. Okay, so same again. I'm gonna get my cavalry to charge with these archers we once. We don't uh, stand a chance. The enemy outnumbers us. Oh, not with that attitude. So we've got these guys waiting on those guys to charge in. That's fine. <laughs> More civilians. Charge. The enemy has laid an ambush. The enemy is attacking our general. Okay, getting some, uh, getting some good, good fire down. Jokers. Okay. Time to charge. And stop those pesky archers from firing. So these guys. I think I'll I'll take these guys back here, out of the range of those skirmishers with this temporary part. Because these guys do have shields, but they don't have a super awesome uh, testudo ability, which makes them inherently more vulnerable to archer fire. Charge into these guys and take them out and then retreat around the corner, forcing these guys to come after me if they want. So, 
hack these guys to pieces. Just too quickly. And doing a super job. The enemy have rallied their units. Oh jeez, how hardcore do you have to be? Not too eager to get slaughtered. I really want to kind of get out of this quickly because the longer these skirmishes fire at me, the more unnecessary casualties I'm going to take. Alright, I think that's good enough. Another retreat background. And, oh, what timing, what timing. Alright, I want to see these guys where they can do some more good. So Cobra doing a super job against those, those archer dudes. Awesome. Now that's finished, so I can move over here. Just perfect. Those guys are broken now. Oh, those guys are shattered. Now charge into those dudes. We're actually, we're actually gonna avoid those guys because this tower is just I don't know the way the way it does it. The t tower is just absolutely wreck, absolutely destroy horses because they're so big. So. guys over here actually to support and killing their general. If you kill their general, then like, that's a big, big morale debuff that they get. These guys are active. Just try to get them in there. See, you know, this is, this is, uh, this, this is, this is going pretty well. I already get quite a couple of good casualties. Uh, like, I've already shattered, what, three of the units? Definitely, definitely say maybe more so than other factions. Romans are definitely a faction where if you try, you get quite a few fairly easy casualties. Sorry, quite a few easy, easy kills, should I say? Just around the back of them and then just fire into them. Exhausted, like surely firing a bow is that tired. Aren't like sprinting around the place. Your orders. Double time. All right, once this guy's in position, I'm gonna retreat the horses, get these guys to fire off a couple of volleys. Ooh, might actually not even need the volleys. These guys might break on their own. Great timing as well. Come on. Ah, that's fine. Get these guys out. Hopefully they won't take too many casualties. Just as they're doing that, launch the volley right into them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. More volleys, and they will be pretty wrecked. Maybe, come on. Kill him. Down. down, charge in. Nice, there we go, he's dead. Okay, cool, perfect. Let's go around the back of these guys now and do the same thing.
guys are pretty much Nordic bands with skirmish unit. So I'm definitely going to, going to try to get my horses to take on the skirmish unit while I first just hold the line against the Nordic bands because as I said before, they really are an absolutely dreadful unit. guys are coming towards me here. Hmm. So, if I charge into there, uh, yeah. Okay, I might hold the line and then I might retreat back to here where this tower is because you should never underestimate the amount of sure damage a tower can do. Which is a lot. So I might stop these guys from moving here, give them a rest because they're pretty perfect. as it were. Okay. Move back. Everybody move back. As you can probably tell I'm a little more excited about this one because there is a chance I might actually win. Mainly because, you know, they have so much of an order levy, it's just so dreadful. Like it, re it really is the worst, the worst unit. Hold on a second, actually. Hold on a second. Oh, no. I thought they were all heading into the big old bunch of people there, but they could not. Get and keep them on the run, that's Take fine. Italian. That's great. In service of the Emperor! Keep them on. Oh, they actually have a bunch more units over there. Didn't see that one coming. How irritating. Okay, let's just fire some straight in. Oh, 
seem to be dying. What bath? I really don't know why. The men's resolve is failing. Let's go, I'm sure. Attacked in rear. Yeah, my horses are getting mowed down. What is the story here? Wow. The men are broken and running for their lives. I don't even know how that happened. Come into fences! At the double! The best thing I could hope for here is some sort of mass rout like these guys, which would be pretty amazing. Oh, there's two of them, right? There's two of them down. We'll bring these guys up here just to, nothing else, just to mask the uh, strong people. Oh no, they're out of ammo. Oh God, let's charge in. So we can get that extra charge while the charge point is going. Pretty certain I've lost this one. So at the same time, I caused him a lot of casualties. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. To be honest. Pretty darn pleased. I can't believe these guys. Not good. I can't believe these guys. Oh wow, don't tell me you guys. Hold on, hold. This is getting really bloody. <laughs> hold. These guys still, still there, still, still there. Good. Speed up time. Make this less fun. Oh, there we go. We got a mass route, kind of. So now, if we draw back everyone back to this tower, we can try to do some sort of like. I'm not entirely sure what, but we'll see. We'll see. Guy back in. See, he's the one who doesn't have the uh, the special defense ability, so I'm okay to sacrifice him. The men are broken and are fleeing. Just get my captain back here to this tower. Get him in defense formation. I feel like we could do something. Let's get here. Turn around. Defense studio. Oh no, wait, it's not my captain. Oops, he's my he's my cohorts. Oh no. Oh well. Again, valiant defeat. Pretty darn good if you ask me. Yeah. 
so I pretty much wrecked his army, and I did, well, didn't do so well against the, uh, the Geats army, but still, still did pretty okay, you know? Who's, who's the big guy in there? Oh, wow, my horse is 268 kills. 271 for my archers. Like, I mean, just for the difference, if you can get your archers behind the enemy and fire at their backs, especially with those heavy bulls, those heavy bulls are dangerous. There they are. Do you know, I thought that was pretty good showing. Again, you know, hold on one time. I'll be surprised if they even take the saddle. They're probably going to sack it again, to be honest. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Ah, uh, uh, oh, my head didn't fall off there. Pretty good. See, do some, do some nice damage. Do some nice damage. Those are some pretty weak armies. Again, they refuse to capture it. I ah, maybe just because it's so like shit that they know if they if they try to capture it, they're just gonna they're just gonna like, oof, bad things will happen. as well because my, my, my Britain is so fudged up. I have like rebels like auto-generating and doing like a lot of really good damage. Who are those guys? Oh my god, they finally attacked me. Wow. What do they have? They have oh, a lot of camels. A lot of ranged units, which is a shame because I only have one horse guy. They have twice my number. Still, I'd say it is possibly winnable. It's tough to say. If, we, if it goes well, I'd say I can maybe win it. Yeah, they have, they have a lot of melee cavalry, which is good because I'm in a great place defensively. It's just the number of range units they have. Uh, it's not great. Depending on how they set up their forces, I may or may not be able to come away with this with a victory. If yeah, it'd be, it'd be a pain in the ass now if I did lose because I don't really have any armies close to there at all. My closest army is currently rushing towards these guys. Only settlement to probably not raise it. I'll probably just capture it to be honest. Uh, depending. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to raise it or not. Because uh, I wouldn't normally raise territories when playing the other factions. Because obviously, you know, if you take territory, you kind of need it. But with these guys, it's more like if it isn't causing a problem. Like if it sometimes it's just easier. Kind of out of mind now, you know. Like a raised province can't rebel against you, and like I really don't need Our that. Settlement stands, but much has been destroyed. Oh, oh shit! I forgot about that settlement damage. That's that could well be actually just a deciding factor in this one as well. So let's see, they've got Bowman, and they've got melee cavalry over here, and they've got more cavalry over here. Hum, hum, hum. I'm going to get these guys to just deploy in here. Let's see, as for a defensible position, uh, I, think, I think a good one... I think a good one is just kind of set up definitely near a tower, but which tower? This might be a terrible place actually here. Oh, actually, yeah, the tower placement's not great. Cause I, one thing I definitely want to do is try to retain. Ooh, this, 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 this might be a runner now. This might be a runner. M maybe. It's a tough, tough decision. Hmm. Well, I might 
to, yeah, I might, I might, I might defend this one actually, because if I can, if I can kind of kill, kill these guys off, at least cause them to fudge off soon, also their generals over there as well actually, that could be a win, that could be a good win for me, so I might, I might, I might try that now, so, if we kind of spread our guys, then, that way, and then, do the same with these guys, and the roof, I think. Um, I guess I'll keep these guys. Oh, actually, no. Whoops. <laughs> these guys need to go over here to stop them coming around the side. Oh, well, then again, I should put the barricade there. That would give me some more time. If they were planning on doing that, actually, I might do that. I might do that. They can come at me, come at me if they want to. As you command! Out, doodle them up, and put these guys around the side here to hopefully come around. Maybe, maybe not. Have, haven't, haven't really decided yet. And archers definitely going with the heavy shot. Uh, where is a good place to put them? Is there a range like? Mm, not super. Not super at all, really. I pop them in here as well. Can I try the old kind of come around the side tactic? Oh, I did not think it was that heavy shot. Super. How about these guys? Actually, what's their range like? Their range is actually even worse. <laughs> and what I might do is I might put the archers up here. The slingers down here on the side. And then as a barricade. Put a barricade here. That horse dudes go over here. And then hopefully kinda come around the side and kill the archers that way. Okay, let's try and defend. The Lords would never forgive us if the capital were violated by filthy invaders. Yeah, I kind of hope they go where I want them to go. Actually, that would be that would be great. <laughs> okay, Enemy has been sighted. Looks like they're doing what I what I want them to do in a way. Come ahead straight for me. Warriors. Of course, camels is that they are very light, which is great because very light guys are easier to kill. Which is precisely what I want. To take out our general, defend him. Can't need them to assault me. Exploratores! Now we have discovered the enemy's hidden units. He's our troops ambushed. are being ambushed. Oh. Just charge head straight into the desert raiders. It's damn right, they're lighter than me. Many troops. Guys, start firing on the horses. Get these guys to charge. they'd be. Get them out of there. Let's 
these guys. If I could hurry up, that would be super. I'm not really very tired, thank you, Jesus. The men are broken and running oh, for their lives. Oh, yeah, because the skirmish calibrate. Rearrange every time. Just like, I don't see. Uh, I don't know. It's all very annoying. What are you doing? What are you doing? Not great, actually. Not great. Uh, this is not going very well. They are simply too maneuverable for me. I guess in hindsight I probably should have maybe just tried to hole in as opposed to being more expansive, knowing that they would be able to, um, to kind of, what's the term, outmaneuver me. Oh, so I'm just right in the back. The men are wavering. In fairness to them, that was actually pretty well played to be honest. <laughs> Can't tell if it's me playing badly or them playing quite well. The battle is no longer in our favour. Didn't really ever think it was. Their general is dead! Oh. A lethal blow! Nice. Didn't expect that. Our men have given up and are running for their lives! I have lasted longer than I thought it would. Uh, after they kind of outmaneuvered me, I thought I'd die pretty darn quickly. But, uh. What did I say? Kill those guys. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Uh, ah, well. Let's fast forward to see how long these guys last. This place is pretty wrecked anyway. I'll be interested now to see if they take the settlement. Or if they, uh. Or if they just leave it. Okay, there's one guy gone. The men are broken and are fleeing. Who are actually surprised very well. They probably, probably sustained any casualties. Though this might be the end of them. Oh no, shaken but firm. No, oh, no, oh, there we go. Oh, well. Pretty much killed half his army, so it was okay. Probably not my finest hour tactically. Uh, I did kind of, I guess, underestimate just how maneuverable they were and how quickly the uh, other side will be able to get to my extremely exposed flank. But you know, lessons learned. Hopefully, not make the same mistake again. Um, oof, actually, it's probably not a bad time to end the video. I can't remember. Oh, I know. I think. I finished my turn, sorry, I'm currently going through the turns. I think once uh, once the AI are finished their turns, I think I might end the video. It's been a lengthy enough one. Yeah, like I was saying, I'll just die. I hope the audio quality 
is okay if it's if it's if it's all right uh, if it's not please do let me know like i said and i'll try i'll try kind of tweak it some more it's annoying because i kind of had it i would consider, well, I would consider it perfect for my previous videos and i just i can't seem to kind of quite get it the same uh no okay he did take it damn it that's annoying because now those injuries that caused me just going to regenerate on the plus side means that once I take his home settlement I'll be able to move that army up. I am a skilled battle. Settlement sank is fine. Typhoid spreads. God damn it. Oh, that's okay though. It spreads to a disease outbreak in Syracuse. Jeez. Disease is a seriously serious pain in the freaking ass. Well at least I got a spy on him. So yay for that. I will probably attach him to one of my armies. So, provision surplus is fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Food shortages. That's grand. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll probably end the video here. I uh, actually can't wait to go up and just stomp that guy. He's been a real pain in my ass. And how about this army over here? Don't even, don't even know what these guys are doing. But I have I have a rebel army and I have the uh, I have Britain. So I'll be curious as to um, as to who who wins that. So you can see actually yeah, Britain being the sensible guys have actually taken my settlements. Actually, oh wow, I can't actually believe Aborcum is still there. That's pretty amazing. They've actually taken my settlements, and so they actually, despite being by far the newest faction out of any of them, are doing the best <laughs> as much sense as that makes anyway I'll save the game cool right thanks for watching guys it's been a pleasure and I will talk to you later bye bye